Here are the eight steps of how brainstorming for building knowledge can be accomplished online that I'd love to share with you. Step three, manage data. During a brainstorming session, lots of ideas are shared. In this third step, we teach students how to filter the ideas that relate from those that don't. From the start, remember never to judge. It blocks the student's thinking process and sets doubts in them. That's something you don't want. However, to shed light on the relatable ideas versus those that don't, ask your students questions that guide them to reaching that conclusion on their own. Let it be an open discussion. After all, learning should be fun. Tip of the day, eliminate the off-topic ideas. Thank <laughs> you.